up, YouTube? Welcome to Saga. Today we are going to do a low-key brand unboxing. As you guys know, I show off a lot of hype stuff on this channel. I show off a lot of Supreme Palace, uh, FTP, which is like kind of hype, I guess. Um, not obviously as hype as those brands, but I do like a lot of less hype stuff. I've been in the streetwear for over 10 years. When I first started getting into streetwear, I was wearing brands like Undercrown, Seventh Letter, Fresh Jive, and stuff like that. Like it wasn't really, I don't know. I mean, I like Supreme, I like Palace, I like all that stuff, but I just feel like there's more to streetwear than just those brands. So I like doing this series. Like if I just do one brand, it doesn't seem like they get nearly as much love. It seems like a lot of you guys love the low key brand unboxings, which is why I like to do these where I just show off a bunch of brands in one video. So if you want to continue to see these videos and you want to continue to see low key brands that I pick up or that I support, then definitely let me know by smashing that like button. Just smash it. Just depends on the support. So if you guys want to see it, like I said, you can let me know by doing just that. We're going to get right into it because yeah, I just have a lot of stuff to show off and I do have to hurry. First off, this is actually low-key brand unboxing from Culture Kings. Now, Culture Kings is not a low-key brand. Culture Kings isn't even really a brand, but they hit me up. They wanted to send me some pieces from a brand and I liked what they had and I thought it looked really dope, so I decided to say yes. I have kind of bummed there were a couple pieces that I wanted that they no longer had in stock and it was sold out. If you guys want to check this brand out, there will be a link to Culture Kings and the actual specific brand that this is down in the description below. When Culture Kings hit me up, like I said, I mentioned this in a previous video when I showed off the Nike Tech Fleece because they have a lot more than just low-key brands or just like other streetwear brands. When they first hit me up, I was like so stoked because I've shopped at Culture Kings before. I already took the stuff out, but I just want to say the packaging was amazing. This is from the brand The Anti-Order. And first of all, they actually, uh, the packaging, it like all came in this little bag right here. I don't know if this is a separate piece that they just included because it does have tagging and stuff. But as you can see, the back just says anti and then it has this like T or cross with a little lightning bolt on the bottom. They all come in like these little things right here, the, the anti-order little bags. Let's crack into these pieces and show you guys what I caught. The first piece, oh, these were like some leggings, like some underpants. Not underpants, but like underpants, like pants that you wear under. But yeah, as you can see, I like the branding right here, anti-order. The main reason I got these was for like if I'm going hiking or something like that. A lot of people will style these with shorts over them. When you wear shorts under them, you'll have like the little sporty like legging look, which I do like and I mean I might style it like that. But for me personally, I actually like wearing these because when I go hiking, it keeps everything in place and it's just a really nice thing to have. I have several like undergarments like these for when I'm hiking to wear under my pants. And on top of that, it's another layer to wear to help keep you warm. Now, we also have this shirt right here and what shirt? Oh yeah, this shirt was fire. This is actually really nice. It's got like a seam right down the middle, as you can see. It's got a center seam and then on the back it has a whole separate panel. And this, oh my gosh. I don't know, it looks like it's really on there. This is a really, really thick screen print. Like this is, it almost feels like a separate piece of like plastic, like screen printed or printed on to the shirt. Like the quality of the screen print is immaculate. Like this is amazing. You have the anti-order tag right there, which I do like that kind of branding. So many little different things. This is like a terry weave. It's almost like a light French terry cloth. It's got a little loop so you can put that, like, you know, you put your hanger through there. You don't have to worry about it sliding off. The quality of this tee is amazing. It's got a scoop bottom and a raw hem. I will say, I would prefer this t-shirt to not have a scoop bottom and not have a raw hem, but overall this shirt is definitely quality. So the next one we have, so this is the exact same tee, still has that center seam, it's got that back panel and it has the anti-order right there, once again just in black. The next piece that we got, damn they sent me a lot of stuff, I appreciate you guys. This is the same tee once again in a black, like black on black, dark camo. This piece, oh, and it's a muscle tee. I, you know your boy been working out. But uh, okay, not really. So yeah, you got like a little uh, camo tee right here. Once again, same style of t-shirt with the center seam and the back panel. I like that black on black camo. That's actually really sick. So um, next up we have what looks to be like a sleeveless hoodie right here. You know, your boy gotta show off his tats, gotta show off the ink, you know? So this is like a lightweight hoodie. To be honest, this is probably too lightweight for me. I'm in Washington, so I like thicker hoodies. Um, granted, this is a sleeveless hoodie, so I probably wouldn't wear this on a really cold day anyways, but I'm really curious to see how this fits. Okay, so next up we have, okay, so this is a long sleeve. This is sick, I like this. So once again, you have the center seam, 
right? You have that back panel. Now there's a couple differences that I want to point out about this tee and why I like this tee. This is some assassin type of ish. I would picture like Nightscape wearing this. First of all, no raw hems. Thank you. Second of all, look at this little matrix coating going down the bottom right there. That is sexy. Put this on and make it look sexy. Then you have the sleeves and it's got a thumb hole with anti right there. So that way, if I want to like layer with this or anything like that, it'll keep my hands warm. This is definitely a sick piece and a piece that I will definitely get some wear out of. This is probably my favorite piece yet. I, this long sleeve is sick. And then last but not least, we have some shorts. These are not like really thin shorts. These are kind of like some canvas shorts. Really, really nice, really thick to be honest, thick AF. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna point out that you have these little cargo pockets right here. These are also, oh, whoa, that's trippy. So it's like a button pocket. Oh, okay, never mind. it's not a button pocket. I'm not a fan of that. I do not like pointless like additions, right? So like, for example, if you were just gonna put pockets here, don't put a like flap unless you wanna put a separate pocket there. Now you might ask yourself, Jacob, why would you even want a second pocket? Well. To answer your question, the reason I'd want a second pocket is because I could put like a credit card in there. If I wanted to separate stuff, I could put it in that pocket as opposed to these pockets. But overall, the quality of these shorts are really nice. You have some back pockets as well. I just needed to make sure those were actual pockets so they didn't, you know, trick me. Um, you have the little branding right here and then it says the anti-order going down the uh, ass crevasse. Damn, they sent me a lot of stuff. They actually have some really sick jackets as well. So when you go check them out, they have the jackets in stock. You can check those out. I definitely recommend that because the jackets are sick. Wait, 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 what's this, what's this? What is this? Okay, so this is actually something new. Sorry, I did not see this. This is crazy. How did they do this? This is not for me personally, but this is insane how they did this. This says the order on the back, it's all neoprene. And then you have this cross and it's like all like raised. It's like embossed. This is insane, bro. Next up, we have a package from my uh, ancestry land right here, which is actually from Germany. Let's crack this open. Bam, we didn't even need the black blade for that. But shout out to these guys, man. These guys are sick. And they sent me some stuff just off of love. Like I really genuinely appreciate them. I'm gonna leave a link to these guys down in the description below as well. Definitely go check them out. But they have these pants, right? That I see a lot of kids rocking on the interwebs. Like these are clean. I normally don't mind zippers on like track pants or sweatpants. So we'll see how they layer. I'm definitely gonna be rocking these. These are a lot better than I expected, to be honest. I really did not expect them to be this soft and stretchy. As you guys know, I love sweatpants. It's basically all I wear. They don't have any branding. They're super clean, super simple. Like overall, these are super nice. The brand is Schutz, 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 Der Schutz. I don't know, I'm probably butchering that. Any of my German compadres can correct me, but yeah, as you can see, it's a really just clean sweatpants. It's got a white stripe down the side. These are really reasonably priced as well, so definitely go check them out and cop some if you so choose. Then, after you cop that, you can actually get the matching tee as well, you know, a little package deal. And we got this t-shirt right here, which has the white stripes on the side as well. As you can see, it's got a center seam down the back, going all the way down the center of the back, and it's got the white stripe, so you can just rock that little outfit for you. Rock the sweatpants with the shirt, and just have that white stripe going all the way down. It's gonna be a pretty clean fit, to be honest, and I'm really stoked that they sent this to me, so thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, they were super patient as well. They sent these to me a while ago, but I've been so busy, so definitely go check them out. I'm gonna leave their Instagram as well. Uh, just show some love. I really do appreciate it. Like, I cannot say thank you enough. The fact that I'm at this point where people even send me clothes, it's a freaking honor. Dang, this packaging is vicious. Okay, so boom, this is like a custom piece just for me from the homies over at Peep Game. Just so you guys know, I said this a long time ago and I was like, bro, you need to make a tackle twill like stitched in little hoodie, right? So he made one just for me, as you can see, tonal black on black. You have the Peep Game graphic all stitched in, looking absolutely gorgeous. I love the hoodie, I love the graphic. I say Peep Game personally, so like for me, I just kind of vibe with it. And on top of that, like, I, I like the community, man. I like the whole like little BMX thing. When I was down on Fairfax, some like people who were riding BMX that don't even really watch the channel, they just know of me because of Peep Game. They like rode by and they were like, yo, Peep Game, what up, Peep Game Posse? And it was just it was just cool, man. So definitely Peep Game are the homies. I'm gonna leave a link to their website down in the comments below as well. I don't wanna bombard you guys with like 70 links, but I will show you guys some other brands that sent me clothes and uh, I will just mention their name if you guys wanna 
try to Google search them, then uh, yeah. But of course, I will also leave a link to this brand, which is Gotti Wear. If you guys have been subscribed to the channel for quite some time, you know Gotti Wear has been hooking it up. They've been fam for quite some time. Huge box. Let's see what we have inside. So they sent me some of the Etzel tees, which are just nice essential tees in white and black. Ooh, the baby blue shorts. This is a size small. I'm really curious to see how these fit, but as you can see, you have these beautiful baby blue shorts right here. The silver little aglets on the uh, waistband. I'm excited to get some wear of these. These are just gonna be some cozy shorts that I wear around the house. Damn, the homie sent me the white shorts too. I didn't even ask for these. He, yo, he hooked it up, bro. He sent me a bunch of stuff I didn't even ask for. I asked him to send me the baby blue shorts. I asked him to send me a couple of uh, uh, like sweatsuits because they're super comfortable. But he also hooked it up with these like almost like off-white, like creme de la creme. These are gorgeous. You even got the gold aglets. Oh, uh, looking saucy, looking saucy and flossy. This is bossing for sure. I'm definitely stoked on these. These feel super comfortable. Really, really nice lounge shorts to kick around in kick around and kick it around it. I don't know. Either way, that is sick. I'm super stoked to get some wear out of those. Those are going to be some really nice shorts to have in the collection. But um, the main piece that I really want to show you guys, it looks like they sent me a pair in navy. Damn, he hooked it up so fast. A pair in black. Ooh, some black shorts with the gold aglets. Ugh. Ooh, I love these crew necks. He sent me another one of these. These crew necks are sick, by the way. These are mandatory must-have in anyone's collections or must-haves in anyone's collection. So basically, as you can see, this is their crew neck. It's got an exaggerated side slit. I love these. I have a black one of these already. So I'm super stoked to have yet another black one. Then we have one of the main attractions. These things are super comfy, but we have the red. It's more like a wine soup right here. As you can see, we have the, uh, I believe, is this the Etzel or, I don't remember the name of it, but Anyways, as you can see, you have the hoodie combo. It's got like a wine color up top, and then you also have some hoodie bottoms. Now these pants, they look kind of silly when you don't have them on, but this actual like exaggerated spandex material or like little uh, ribbing or whatever, it keeps it super tapered. So it has a really nice tapered look. And especially if you're going for like a more sporty look or like the people that, for example, will like pull their socks over their pants, these are the perfect pants to have with that kind of style, especially because it's not super bunched up down there. It doesn't look awkward. It'll just look super clean. Quick little insert. I forgot to unbox this because there was just so much stuff and I forgot to unbox it, but shout out to the homie. Definitely go check out his Instagram. Super, super dope dude. He's got a lot of cool art and ish like that, so definitely go check him out. He sent me this tea. I'm actually on live right now and he reminded me. Like I said, his Instagram will be on the screen and in the description below. Go show him some love. All right, so some other brands. Um, we have Youth Machine. Youth Machine is uh, actually the company that makes this shirt that I'm wearing right now. I almost forgot to show off the homies at YTG as well. YTG is a company uh, in LA and they actually hook it up, man. Ooh, I haven't seen these. So we have some shorts right here with some little side action. As you can see, you have like this little side ribbing right here. And then this kind of reminds me of those shorts that you see a lot of people wearing that have like a, it's kind of like a cut. I don't know. It's hard to explain. You guys might know what I'm talking about, but these are pretty comfortable. It's almost like a mesh material. It is like a mesh material, but it's like a, it's not like a light, super light mesh. You got zipper pockets. That's definitely a nice plus. YTG has a lot of cheap alternatives. So they have a lot of like super dope stuff for pretty reasonable prices. Here is a striped tee. As you can see right here, we just have a clean essential stripe tee. This thing is definitely, ooh, this is like boxy too. You can see how wide that is. Dang, they hooked it up with, God, I am so blessed. All these companies hooking it up, bro. Now we have a couple other things that were gifted to me recently. We have this right here, which is local. This is actually uh, from the homie, uh, it's like a shop in Montreal, local right there. If you guys don't know, God's Wage, which is like, He's like an OG YouTuber. I don't know if he's been doing it the same length of time as me, but I always give him credit. Like, that dude has been showing off a lot of stuff that people show off today. Like, he's been showing off Supreme. As far as I know, he was one of the first on YouTube to be showing Supreme off pretty regularly. He's just a homie. He always has some super dope gear. But yeah, so he uh, actually hooked me up with one of these t-shirts right here. It's just a clean little essential tee. It says local three times down the chesticles. And then we also have this right here, which I acquired at SneakerCon. Um, let's see, what brand is this? This is from Alfred Hill Clothing. This tee is super soft. As you can see, you have like this little crown 
It's very like a uh, Basquiat inspired. Uh, it's actually not pronounced like that. It's a uh, Basquiat. Uh, oh man, this is nice. That's so soft. Okay, so anyways, I also had a subscriber just hook it up with this off of love. It says they f you up, your mom and dad. They may not mean to, but they do. I think this dropped last year. This time actually, I don't remember the exact uh, drop date. But yeah, this isn't too old, but super dope. They just hooked this up for me. Just gave this to me out of love. I. Man, homie, if you're watching this, I appreciate you. This was actually sent to me completely randomly, as far as I know. I don't even remember. God, bro, I'm so bad. Anyways, it's the brand Godless, regardless. All embroidered. You already know you boy likes the embroidery. All black. Must be. And then it says Godless on the tag. Super dope. Definitely shout to the homie. I appreciate you for sending this to me. Much love. This, oh, this is from Robesman. Hey, hey, this is funny, bro. Season, uh, bug, bu Bogata, Bogat, I don't even know what that says. That's funny, bro. Roseman is probably one of the funniest dudes that I have met. Like, he is just, he's just a hilarious character. When you meet him in person, bro, like, he is very, very interesting. And I really thought it was cool how much interest he took into the streetwear thing. Like, he was asking all these questions and just, he has just so much information. So, shout out to Roseman. I'm going to leave a link to him down in the comments below as well. I don't even know, like, if, is this like a Robesman collab right here? Robesman Apparel, Warhol, as you can see. It has Warhol on the back. This is a size small, so definitely not my size, but regardless, I'll probably just, you know, hook one of the homies up with it. We have this right here. This has, like, this graphic on the back. You got, like, uh, I see, like, a Jedi looking at, like, a female Jedi or something. I don't know. And then it has, like, an eight or an hourglass on the front left chesticle. Also, on the bottom, it's got this little uh, paragraph right there, and then it's got this back little writing. On it's very, like, it reminds me of like off-white or something like that with this kind of writing on the back and the little paragraph on the front. Damn, he sent me a bunch of stuff. Okay, boom. Then we have, oh, the Lil Xan tee though? Damn, Roseman with the Lil Xan collab. Look at that, bro. So as you can see, you got Lil Xan right there. I might have to get a photo in this. I feel like this video is going to be too long. Okay, so we have, oh, this is sick. I remember the homie asked me about this. This is one of the brands I was actually waiting on. As you can see, you have this super dope, like, old English style thing going on. Okay, so as you can see, it says Dead Loss in Old English, Anti-Human. It's screen printed on there, and then this one says Dead Loss, but it's in, like, a barbed wire. And normally, I don't really wear white like that, but this is a pretty fire piece. I like this kind of stuff. Definitely Old English, if you guys know. That is, like, my favorite font. That's why I use it all the time. Now, I believe this is the last package. I'm not sure, though. This was sent to me from the homies over at Black Lord's Clothing. And we have this right here. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to give this to the homie Sean. If you guys don't know, I'll use his song on the outro of this video. But my homie Sean Parker, he often will use a little lightning bolt. And then on the black, not black, on the back, it says Black Lord's. I almost uh, said that backwards and said on the black, it says Black Lord's. Anyways, super dope piece. I'm definitely going to have to give this to the homie Sean. I appreciate you, Black Lord's. But this is just too perfect to not throw to the homie. Um, definitely a perfect piece. I can't believe you guys made that. That's sick. Yeah, I think that's everything, bro. Oh my gosh. Thank you to everyone that sent me stuff. I will leave some links down in the description below. Definitely go check them all out. Anyways, I really want this video 20 minutes long, so I'm going to say goodbye with no plugs. Just kidding. Of course, follow my Instagram. My Instagram is at the start of that. will be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. It's been there the entire freaking time. And of course, thank you so much. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. And as always, keep living the star life. Peace. This dumb as I thought can't rob me. Nigga can't take my spot. Lean, bait, cream, good for my health. Blue face, honey, look at my wealth. Chopper, chopper, chopper up on my shelf.